Hey guys, Charlie the Plumber. Thank you for coming back to the channel. I appreciate you stopping back by, checking things out, checking out new videos. Um, we're doing very well. In the month of November, I had 60 subscribers. I am up over to 500. That's, that's awesome. I appreciate everything. Um, I hope that's because I, I do a good job at what I'm doing. I enjoy doing it, so I'm, I'm glad to have everyone back. But what I'd like to get to is um, 2018, I was diagnosed with AFib. Uh, AFib is, your, is a heart condition where your heart is not going like this. It's going like this with a bunch of other stuff going on inside your heart. AFib is caused, or in my case, AFib was caused by severe sleep apnea. Guys, I was in sleep apnea denial. I had it for 35 years. The wife was married to me. I caught the elbows in the stomach and the side, uh, the kicking of the legs, hey, roll over, you're snoring, you're, you know, whatever. It was bad enough. I had sleep apnea bad enough. I was at deer camp one year, and the guys that were up there, all friends and family, thought it was funny to pour chocolate syrup down my throat. Had no idea what was going on. I would actually stop breathing for 30 seconds. Uh, in that process of that 30 seconds, you know, hey, let's squirt some chocolate syrup down there. See if he wakes up. Never woke up. So, um, moving on from the sleep apnea, this stuff is, is serious, serious stuff. I have nine friends that have now been tested. All nine friends, family and friends, are wearing sleep apnea tests. Uh, or sleep apnea mask. Myself, I wear a BiPAP machine, pressure in, pressure out. I'm not a doctor, guys. I don't plan to be a doctor. I don't play to be a doctor. Um, I'm a fat old plumber that's been doing it for 35 years. So um, this sheet that that is online, you can find it some places online, but it's got some, some different stuff on it. Um, Sleep apnea, they, they call it severe sleep apnea. My severe, or my sleep apnea was 28 to 30 times per hour. Um, but I would stop breathing for a long period of time. I had, when I, when I had, was diagnosed finally with AFib, I was diagnosed in, in, in that AFib, I then had congestive heart failure. My heart was three times the size of what it should have been. My EF, or the pressure my heart was pumping, was 15. They say heart transplant, 10%. Um, let's see, sleep apnea, let's see, uh, enlarged heart. Heck, I'm, uh, obviously memory loss is one of them too. But had two blood clots in the lower lobe of my heart. Um, these are serious things that I was in sleep denial, sleep apnea denial. Um, it also causes, I'm going to read off the cheat sheet, strokes, um, hypertension, coronary artery disease, which is what I had, coronary, uh, cardiac arrhythmias, AFib, uh, congestive heart failure, had that, heart was three times the size, um, heart disease, sudden death, uh, mood disturbance. One thing with sleep apnea, a lot of people will say, I, yeah, I may have sleep apnea, whatever. A couple of things you got to look for. If you're getting up multiple times to go to the bathroom uh, at nighttime, it's probably not because you got to pee. It's probably because you have sleep apnea and you're waking yourself up. Please think about that one. That is huge. A lot of people do that. Um, it's something that obviously that's one of the major things. If you come home from work, you sit down in the chair, you immediately fall asleep. That's sleep apnea. One of my things I had, I had leg cramps in the middle of the night. It would wake me out of a dead sleep with a leg cramp. That is sleep apnea. That was my heart was slowing down to a point where it wasn't letting the blow, blood flow from one end to the other. Sleep apnea. Lot, lots of things. There were 16 questions that were thrown out there. I answered 14 of them the way that the doctor said I was supposed to. That's not, you're not good at taking a test. You're bad at having the diseases that you have. I'm very, very lucky that I didn't have a stroke or a heart attack. Loud snoring. It also has a, a tendency to uh, create diabetes. Huge thing, obesity. I am fat, I am overweight. 
I'm not the typical, okay, I'm 6'2", I'm supposed to weigh 192 pounds. It doesn't happen that way, guys. We all know that. Um, I was when, when I was at my fighting weight the last five years, uh, I was basically 260. 250, 260, I'd bounce back and forth. Um, right now, with the heart issues that I had and the sleep apnea, the medications I'm on, Whatever happened, I have jumped from 260 to 290. I need to lose weight. I'm going to tell you that, everyone. I'm going to tell everyone, try it. Do the best you can. That's a tough thing to do. Um, losing weight is huge. But gastrical reflux disease. Basically, I eat a ton of, of Rolaids. Always had heartburn after you eat, before you eat. It is a weight-induced issue also. My doctor told me two things. Um... Obviously, AFib is a huge thing, and sleep apnea is a huge thing. With you having sleep apnea, you can have AFib. Please, please, please do the best you can. If you feel as though you have sleep apnea, don't be in sleep apnea denial. Had a friend of mine that had it that I used to work with. Um, he had two strokes. He was a smoker. Um, he's still smoking from my understanding. This is something he will die over it. We all don't want to die. And I'll tell you what, I, I never thought I had an issue about dying until someone said, you're at 15%, you could die. You don't want to die. I don't want to die. So do what you can, guys. Um, do what you can as far as taking care of the sleep apnea. I appreciate everyone being here. Please get checked. Please have your friends, uh, family get checked. You can do a home test now. It doesn't necessarily need to go to the sleep clinic. I myself went to the sleep clinic because I wanted to have it done in one night. The home test is three days or two days. Please, 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 please get checked. Uh, sleep apnea is serious. Um, so hopefully everyone everyone takes it, reads it, thinks about it. You know, do what you can. Uh, tell your family and friends, don't harp on them. They don't want to listen to that stuff. Just say, hey, you know, tell, them, tell them my story. Let them watch my video. I'll tell anyone that's out there um, what my issues was. I'm doing a wrap on my snowmobile right now. On my uh, tunnels where my feet go, I've actually got my AFib uh, EKG that I have put on there. Sleep apnea awareness. I am huge on it now. Please get checked. Hope you enjoy the video. Stop back again. We've got uh, some other ones there out there. We hunt in the UP, so I've got my deer camp set up. Uh, I've got a couple of uh, reviews on blinds, you know, the way we build them. My Menard's blind, my brother's blind that he built. Um, I reviewed my sauna that I have in my backyard. Saunas are good for uh, your heart and your arteries and your and your uh, blood flow. So that's one way to push to your wife or your husband, hey, we need to buy a sauna because plumber Charlie or Charlie the plumber says, hey, let's get one because it's good for our heart. So like I say, appreciate everyone being here. Uh, glad that you stopped by. Get that sleep apnea checked out, AFib checked out. Hopefully you don't have either one, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.